Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the finale. The grand finale of Halo Combat Evolved. This is the final episode here in the series that we will be playing through, going back, taking a look at the old graphics. I mean, it did not give me the, the cutscene that usually happens here, but all that happens is the Master Chief flies a banshee into the side of the thing, into the side of that building there. Cortana asked him if it was intentional because it explodes on impact and he just kind of laughs it off. There's a soda pop. But, uh... Yeah, we will be approaching... Th this is the end of the game. This is the absolute end of the game. We are coming up with our plan to destroying the Halo Ring and seeing if that could be successful. I do admit a fair amount of this episode was cut out. And that was solely based on um, some of the repetitiveness here in the finale, along with um, along with the repetitive nature of the finale itself, is a lot of deaths, and then added on top of that, we also have. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me! Holy shit! We also have a lot of confusion here at the end of the series. And no better way to finish it up than with starting with what sounded like the world's most brutal sneeze ever taken by man, but that's okay. It happens. Obviously the Flood are here on the ship. So the ship, what we're planning to do, if you're just tuning in, as we are planning to ignite the core of this ship to blow it up per Cortana's guidance. And then we think the explosion from that will be so big that we will likely be able to uh, completely demolish a section of Halo here to the point that we make it ineffective so we, it can no longer be used as a weapon. I'm just gonna fire my shotgun here. There was definitely some glitches there. Um, this is how the end of they get on the remakes. It, it, it's just how it is sometimes. Like I said, this episode as a whole is gonna be like all over the place. There's gonna be a lot of like cuts in and out and things like that. Because I think when I originally recorded this, it was like an hour and 15 minutes, and I've got it down to just over a half hour now, which is where I like things to be post-wise. But uh, when we do Halo 2, there will be a lot more editing and things like that going on behind the scenes. It's just a mix of the time of the year, switching gameplays over and things like that, like... It's just like we needed to get it to a spot where it needed to be pretty solid. I think this is a good change. Uh, obviously the game froze here. We're just going to give it a second or two to unfreeze. It's just getting overwhelmed here at the save points here at the end of the game. The remake has a habit of doing that. We'll see that probably a little bit more in Halo 2. Halo 3 they left pretty undisturbed so we won't see that as much but that's all right. Here we have some hunters. Oh, I wish I got him on that first one, you fucker. Okay, one down, one to go. There we go, he's done. It's gonna be a good chunk of Covenant in here. I think there's gonna be an egregious cut here in a second, but yeah, you saw me dead. <laughs> um, there's a lot of Covenant in this next room and we really need to take it as carefully, but like at the same point in time, like as aggressively as we possibly can. Otherwise they cause serious problems. And I think there's even a cut from this point, or at least I may even show the death here. Because a lot of the, the smaller Covenant at this point in time have like their equivalent of the bazooka. I think there I got stuck with a fucking grenade, fuck. I'm not even four minutes in and I'm already losing my shit. 
I mean, it, it's so unfair this late in the game. Like, how much shit they're just throwing at you. Like, there, where was he? Where was he when all the grenades went off? Where was he hiding? Get behind this wall. Let's try and duck it out. Shit. Okay. Heal up, heal up. Everything's gonna be good. Okay. Let's deal with it now. Now we can deal with it. Oh my god. And these elite types here at the end of the game, I, I'm convinced they have extra layers of armor and things like that. Like, it does not seem like our standard elites. They're smart. They react well. And when they're close to death, they throw suicide bombs and things like that. It is not our standard grouping. There was a cut there because this guy throws suicide bombs on you, regardless of what you do. So it may take you a time or two. Here are some of the smaller elite or covenant members in here have bazookas like that guy right there. So you need to get them out of the way ASAP. There is a lot of them. And they are, uh, yeah, they're trying to screw you. I think picking up that assault rifle was a mistake. There at the end of there, but it's okay. Cortana and I are putting an end to the ring. We're gonna self-destruct the ship the question, really. and then fly on out of here. Ridiculous! That you would imbue a warship's AI with three four three. You son of a bitch. He's in my data arrays. A local tab. You can't imagine how exciting this is to have a record of all of our. I don't know if this is information we want to give to three four three. He's learning all about the data plans. From not just this war, but all the wars before. Son of a bitch. Why do you continue to fight us, Reclaimer? You cannot win! Give us the construct! And I will endeavor to make your death relatively famous. No. At least I still have control over the comm channels. Where is he? I'm detecting taps throughout the ship. We're not going to let him kill all of society. He's in engineering. That is not an answer at all. Even if I could get the countdown restarted, I don't know what to do. How much firepower would you need to crack one of the engine sheets? Not much. A well-placed grenade, perhaps, but why? Like, yeah, that's why, brother. About to throw okay, those grenades in there. Chief, Sentinels. Loud ass car going by. Wouldn't be an average show episode without it. Oh, the Sentinels are doing a good amount of damage to me. Assault rifle is not how you want to go on this, Chief. Legitimately any other weapon. The ship was heavily damaged. And honestly, there's no need to even take them on. There's going to be more of them, so it was likely a good thought to pick up the plasma gun, but I wouldn't bother going after them. Guess we can only go the way that we came. There's a lot of flood this way, which tells me that we're likely going in the right direction. This is likely how we're- oh, fuck, fuck you. Okay, that actually helped out. Because they were probably all running towards that, so it likely did what I wanted it to do. Hello, puppy girl. The puppy is tired. She's ready for sleep. But we need to finish the video, puppy. I have 27 minutes left. Take out the flood from this angle. Okay, there's a whole bunch of hunters, and yeah, it's not gonna be fun. 
just peg them at this point. They're not moving, so I mean, I feel like we're doing okay damage, but I'm out of grenades now, so I need them to come out and actually play with us here. They shoot him in the back, there he goes, he's down. Let's get this guy one on one. Bam, there he goes, he's done too. See that we're stepping up in the world, we got some experience, we know how to deal with these guys. No mindless deaths here. Now, of course, I'm walking through everything very slow. Because it's very easy to get burnt. And just walk into a horde of bad things happening to you. There's going to be some sentinels. Let's take them down. Right here we have some good coverage, so we might as well utilize it while we can. I don't think there's anything we can really get by going this way. So we might as well go underneath. There's a flood stuck in the wall. The needler, I hate the needlers. And the Sentinels really aren't that big of a... There's just not enough of them here at the end of the game to say that they're like a huge deal. I kind of want them to fight out this battle here. Because it looks like there's a lot more going on than I can likely deal with. Like everything here, th this just looks like a lot. So I'm going to pop off shots as things come my way, but I'm going to let it go for a couple seconds. See, things look a little bit died down now. At first, this looked like a really bad room to enter. Now it looks, uh, I don't know. Semi-inhabitable, I guess is a good way to put it. It's still not terrible, but... Or still not great, but... Okay, deal with some flood. There's a lot of flood in this section. Now a lot appeared underneath me now that I moved up here. I need to get to a safe spot. Otherwise, I feel like I'm going to be screwed. Get out of here. Get in the center room. The Sentinels can attack me from here if they come into contact with, like, my area. That's fine. The bigger deal is, uh... Just taking on multiple different types of enemies here from this section. That is gonna be a big deal. And if the Flood do end up rushing me, that would be a good spot to do it, because the Shotgun will deal a hefty amount of damage to all of them. But they don't end up coming that way. I'm fine with that. We have good health. Pick up some shotgun ammunition. Start dealing with the flood in copious amounts. Man, there's just, there's just a literal ton of the flood here at the end of the game. Like, I, I don't know what else I could say. It's just a disaster. I've gotten pretty good with the plasma pistol, as you've seen there. Um, I think this is probably one of the best guns in the game. Now that I'm actually revisiting it this late in the Let's Play, it holds the most benefit to me, I think. Just as to, like, the quick rate of fire, slow rate of recharge, things like that, I think it is providing... And how much damage it does to the Flood and the Sentinels overall. I think the Plasma Pistol has quickly become one of the best guns in the game. For as much as I hated it early on. So that goes to show you folks, sometimes you really underestimate a, a weapon. And I truly believe this is one of those cases. Because I think the Plasma Pistol is... One of the best guns in the game at this point. I was a non-believer. I hated this gun. There's an energy shield for us. That's very nice. Checking out, man. This ship is destroyed. 
Now we need to manually light the shit up. Which isn't gonna be good. Might as well use the shotgun. We're in close combat. And I think we get to see this from two different angles, because I do think there is a cut coming up here. So I get lost quite a few times in these narrows. Where'd that guy go? Okay. We cut there, because obviously I died. We'll check it out from this angle, which is where the, originally the guy runs to. Just so we can see the mass level of destruction going out in this hallway. Sentinels are taking some serious fucking damage. So things are not going swell. To say the least. Let's go and check this from this section. Okay. There's hunters approaching them. I'm gonna throw some grenades down this way. I kinda just want some movement. Maybe we'll throw one or two this way. I feel like there's a shit ton more that's gonna happen, but we need to take down some of these enemies first. So we'll go after the Sentinels. Take some of these guys out of the path. To see what comes in to replace them, because I feel like that's gonna be the bigger threat. Okay, here comes the flood now. Gonna throw a grenade out there. Okay. Yeah, there it- yep. As I was expecting, the flood was kind of holding back knowing that the sentinels were there. That's sort of why we took the stance that we took. Soda pop. They blast these guys out of the way. This feels like an optimal spot where, like, they can hit us, but... If we poke back a little bit, they're not as inclined to do so. And they're in a confined spot, so the shotgun always helps here. That plus the extra shields we have... I feel like puts us in a good spot. I mean, look at the fucking pile of bodies out there. Like, they're just getting jammed up on that. Which I feel like is really helping us at this point. Oh shit, okay. There was a little bit of a, a hiccup there in the gameplay. Let this guy get close. Start pegging them off. They're not that bad. At this point in time, I feel like we've adjusted to them enough that, like, it's just sort of like, okay. Like, what else? You know what I mean? Like, we've just dealt with them enough that I'm really used to, like, this sort of combat. The little guys, they're fine here. I will say, uh, towards the end of this level, I do cut a lot of it out, and they are the reason why. So, as much as I'm, like, toning them down right now, they are a major pain in the friggin' ball sack coming up on the sections following, so... You know, take it with a grain of salt. Right now, I'm being nice. I can be pissy in a minute. It just depends on how the enemy is approaching, which seems above and beyond unfair moving into the sections that we are going to be moving into. But I decided to go all this way down here, and what do I find? Oh my goodness, I find, like, what is, like, a 
a jerk me off of all the best things found in this game. There's RPGs with unlimited ammunition. There is assault rifles, there's shotguns. We get ammunition for everything above and beyond. Fuck, the flood started to learn how to become invisible. Okay, that's not good. That's actually fucking horrific. Everything else in this room is awesome. That addition there sucks. But we do have unlimited ammunition. We pick up boatload of grenades, boatload of rocket launcher ammunition, which will be needed here in the future. As we saw with Cortana, we need to put some well-placed grenades into some sections in order to uh, actually complete this mission in its fullest extent, so. This whole room serves a purpose, I guess is what I'm saying at the end of the day. And it's truly left there for those that are willing to explore. And uh, Cortana says at a later point in time that like that room has some stuff if we need to, if we start running out of ammunition. But we're not gonna see a lot of that because I promise you I'm going to take like my first shot here. Yeah. So here's the bottom. I'm gonna take my first shot into one of these vents, but there is four of them. And after each one of these, you have to deal with a series of either Flood, Covenant, Sentinels, a mix of all of them. Typically a mix of all of them is what you get and you just end up getting bum rushed every single time you throw a bomb into one of these sections. Um, but I will let you know, the biggest offender here in all these sections is 150% just your lack of movement. Like all that happens, why this reason why this episode took significantly more than what I would expect it to take is because I get up there, I do what I need to do, I fall down, and then I can't deal with what I need to deal with. And that ends up being the bigger deal. Like, if you could just get up here, deal with it, shoot your RPGs into the areas that you need to shoot them into, and then just continue to move forward, you're gonna have no problems. If you just move quick and efficiently, this episode really isn't that, it's not that hard. If you're like me and you suck at platforming, it's gonna be pretty difficult. And then on top of that, if you're fucking horrific at driving the Warthog like I am, it's gonna become even more challenging. Like, it's just the way it goes. Honestly, after playing this episode, I can't justify it. The game actively screws you. It, it truly does. You can see I have all these objectives here that I need to activate and then spend a minute. I'm gonna show you what each of them looks like. So I activated that one. I try to go over here and activate this one, but I can't activate one without completing the other. So I activate this one. I recommend a grenade or rocket. I'm getting fucking smacked by the flood. Fuck you, asshole. And then all these sentinels come down. They're dealing with both me and the flood. I need to hide in here because holy fuck. That is a lot of damage for us to deal with. But that one on the very far right. Like, this is what you would slowly have to do in between each one. I can't activate two at a time. So the one over here on the very far right, or I guess on the left now, because I waited long enough, is activated. Fuck you, Sentinels. We have to wait till it's fully open. And then shoot an RPG or throw a grenade far enough deep in there that it causes a reaction. So. You need to do that four times. As you can see here, I missed that jump. I die here. It is what it is. I guess I'll show a little bit more of that, but um, at the end of the day, it's just this on repeat time and time again. And that's all how the whole game wraps up. That and uh, a warthog run. Damage to destroy Halo. Don't Which, uh, <laughs> yeah, the reactor schematics and is about as fun as it sounds. First, we need to pull back the exhaust. 
And all these areas look the same, so I'm like still trying to like think of ways to get up there. And it, it's not working out in my favor. I'm sure these two sections here are like multiple tries away. It took me like four or five tries to really like get this down packed. But the flood are the biggest fucking problem here is like they just keep coming in full full steam and just keep coming at us and coming at us so like it it's so much freaking garbage here at the end of the series i get it, it whatever it's your first time doing this no this is the best way to actually do it it's like get out here ignore everything shoot in there if you can get on the first one you can get on the first one but obviously i don't there but if you could possibly fucking do that that is your best bet and even here i'm trying to throw grenades in i don't think the grenades are going to take it out oh shit i just missed the opening fuck me fuck because there's so much shit going on here there we go i think we got it that time so yeah, you just, you need to do that four times and then luckily land on edges and things like that. Like, it just becomes such like a, a Simon Says sense of fucking quest bullshit that like, it, it's not worth displaying the entirety of everything that goes on. Because obviously, as you can see here, I fall down here and have to restart everything and every enemy in between has spawned. So now we are spawning to after all of those four things have been shot. What are the next steps? What do we have to do? Well, everything's blowing up. There's an elevator coming down and this is fucking ungodly unfair. If I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I leave my death in here, but I did die once here because they just start fucking shooting rocket launchers at you and bullshit like that. Yeah, there's my death. Fuck that. It's not fair at all. So what I decided to do was just open the fire with the fucking RPG and say fuck you to every single enemy in here. Because it's a boatload of bullshit. There's no other way to approach it. it it's just straight up shit. And then we wait until the elevator can take us up to the top. Do that nice and easy. I think I'm going to cut in and out of the new and old graphics here just so I can see what it looks like, but we have a needler and a rocket launcher. Honestly, like, the the big explosion effects from a distance seem to be doing the best right now. So why not utilize them, you know what I mean? Like, that seems to be the best way to go. We might as well utilize it to its fullest aspect. And then, uh, let's hop in a Warthog and try to make the best of this. So this is, like, the biggest fucking bullshit here at the end of this episode. Hold on. Yeah, I, I fucking die. That's why we're holding on a minute. Okay, and we are back here. We are going up to get the Warthog once again. Sorry about that. I really had to use the restroom there at the end of the last section that I just got. But, yeah, certain Warthogs blow up, certain ones don't. We have six minutes to make it out of here. And as you can see by my Warthog driving, it doesn't look good for us. It truly does not look like a promising run. All right, with the time left on the clock, you can see that uh, we're likely going to make it, but how we're going to make it is probably not going to be fun, so. Take that with a grain of salt, but we are going to likely make it out of this run here. There may be a reset, I'm not sure. If there is, there isn't. Honestly, at this point, because we do stupid shit like this. We're like, this is completely avoidable. Oh, come on, come on. Fuck you, fuck you. Shit. Why is this, why does this exist? Me and my one friend were, um, we were talking the other day. And I was talking about how, like, this is, like, a load of fucking shit at the end of, like, a first-person shooter. 
Why is a racing scene inserted at the end of a first person shooter? It kind of seems like a load of shit to me. Especially being as, like, in this early of, like, oh, fuck. I'm going to take a lot of damage there. Holy shit. But especially because, like, in this early of, like, first-person shooters being developed, like, this doesn't feel like the right way to end this. Like, it should be an all-out blitz. Like, why? Why is any sort of racing involved? Like, this seems really dumb. But I guess we're gonna go meet Foe Fo Hammer here and get picked up. Then our whole troops can leave at the same time. Won't feel bad there. We'll get to leave with some of our team members. But on it, I'm sort of trying to look at this as to like... Which roundabout sections can I take? Like sections over here where this is just a straightforward path. This is what I want. Don't give me all these terrific jumps and things like that. I can't make them. I physically can't do it. It gets turned out bad for our team members and will likely turn out bad for ourselves. Why are we doing this? But it's what the game insists on happening right now. Like here, I'm better off to take the side section. All the way through. If I could take it all the way through, I would. But I'm, I'm just gonna lightly glide up here and then come back down and then just sort of bob and weave. This feels a ton faster than like whatever I was likely gonna deal with in the other sections. I feel like I'm a lot better in areas like this. Where like, yeah, it, it's just the average player throughput. Like, I can't do the special Stop. shit. This is where Fohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Okay, Faux Hammer's coming here. Cortana to Echo Not looking good, Faux Hammer. Not gonna lie. On your six. Evade. Say again. Evade. Yeah, Faux Hammer's fucked. Yeah. That's it. It. Yeah, it's done. Echo 419. She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Yeah, we need to get the hell out of here. And we only have, what, two minutes and 20 seconds? <sighs> Not looking good for somebody who's doing about 360s inside of this this death trap. It is not looking promising, folks. With that being said, we are approaching the end of the video. And I do want to narrate up until the very end because it is the finale if you like this video please feel free to like comment subscribe if you liked any of the videos in the series please feel free to like comment subscribe it is greatly motivational towards myself into making videos just like this now and in the near future we'll be playing luigi's mansion 3 and super mario land moving forward um we have one episode of pokemon soul silver but after that we should switch into those let's plays and uh if you're interested in them, let me know in the comments below. And if you're interested in seeing more stuff like this, drop that in the comments below as well. I'd be more than happy to switch into Halo 2. Oh, fuck me. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. That lands on a lesser area. That's fine. But I'd be more than happy to visit Halo 2 at a sooner date than I previously imagined. But, uh, yeah. I just want to make sure that, like, that's what everybody out there would like to see, so... If that's really what you want to see, drop that in the comments below. We are trying to make our way here. We have less than a fucking minute to finish this shit up. Holy fuck. Okay, jump out of here just because I have beat this before. And know that there's no way moving forward past these tubes. I'm gonna throw some needler darts over here and just continuously fucking spray them. Until we get to the end of this world here. But that is going to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this series, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff is greatly motivational for myself. This is the end of Halo Combat Evolved. You are about to see 
the mass destruction that Cortana and I cause here. I'm going to let the end of the series play out the way that it should play out without my beautiful voiceover narration. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, at least drop a like. Come on. We made it this far in the series. But until next time, everybody, peace out, Girl Scout, and we will see you all here in the next one. Did anyone else make it? Scanning. Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, it's finished. No, I think we're just getting started.